Bayraktar TB-3 made its third flight. The unmanned aerial vehicle remained in the air for five hours despite the southwest wind reaching speeds of 130 km per hour. Bayraktar TB-3 UAV, developed nationally and uniquely by Baker, successfully completed its third five-hour test flight under the difficult conditions of the southwest wind that affected the Marmara region and reached a speed of 130 km per hour. The testing process of Bayraktar TB-3, an armed unmanned aerial vehicle developed nationally and indigenously by Baker, continues. The third flight test of the national UCAV was held at a Kinchi Flight Training and Test Center in Korlu district of Tekerdag. National UCAV Bayraktar TB-3 successfully completed its five-hour test flight despite the difficult weather conditions caused by the strong southwest wind that affected the Marmara region and reached a speed of 130 km per hour. Bayraktar TB-3, flying with the PD-170 engine developed domestically by Tay, ended its test flight after the successful completion of the system identification tests carried out at high and low speeds under storm conditions. Bayraktar TB-3 UAV was exhibited publicly for the first time at Technofest Istanbul at Atatürk Airport between the 27th of April and the 1st of May, within the scope of Technofest, which was held in three major cities to crown the 100th anniversary of our republic. Then he also participated in Technofest held in Ankara and Izmir. Bayraktar TB-3 UAV, whose wings were designed with a foldable structure, and Turkey's first unmanned combat aircraft, Bayraktar Kizilna, were exhibited in Istanbul and Izmir on the flight deck of TCG Anadolu, which was previously called the world's first SIA ship. Hundreds of thousands of citizens visited Bayraktar TB-3 and Kizilna, which took their places on the flight deck of TCG Anadolu, during the ceremonies held for the 100th anniversary of our republic. Bayraktar TB-3 UCAV will be the first armed unmanned aerial vehicle in the world with the ability to take off and land from short runway ships such as TCG Anadolu with its foldable wing structure. Baker chairman of the board and technology leader Selçuk Bayraktar announced that they plan to start tests for Bayraktar TB-3 on the TCG Anadolu ship in 2024. The capabilities that Bayraktar TB-3 will have will be an important innovation for unmanned aerial vehicles in this class. The national UCAV will also have beyond-line-of-sight communication capability, so it can be controlled from very long distances. Thus, it will have a multiplier effect on Turkey's deterrent power by performing reconnaissance surveillance, intelligence and attack missions against overseas targets with the smart munitions it carries.